Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. So how are y'all doing today? How's everybody doing? As you can see, today we got Popeye's chicken and I have a chicken sandwich, I have some coleslaw and I have a four piece. Now we're gonna get into a little discussion. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out so we can get into this mukbang. So, I'm going to take this off of here because it's going to melt. <laughs> um, but I'm going to leave the chicken sandwich up here. And I hope that uh, I'm not making too much noise. So, y'all. I know it's been about a week or so since I uploaded. Um, just putting the phone on silent. So let me tell y'all what happened with this order. And I don't have my coldest water bottle with me, but I am a coldest water ambassador and I will put the link in the description box below. And if you use code coldest 10, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Now that code is good, is only good for one order. So if you already, if you, or if you place an order and use the code, you won't be able to go in and place another order and use the code again. And I'm have and I have orange Fanta. Let me tell y'all what they did. So I ordered um, a chicken sandwich combo and a four piece combo for me, right? And I ordered each of my sons a chicken sandwich combo with fries and a drink. And I ordered tenders on the side for them because that sandwich doesn't fill them up. Well, they come with eight pieces of chicken and my four piece but no tenders and no fries y'all I don't understand and I have honey and hot sauce over here on the side so I'm a little bit irritated I mean, this was ordered through Uber Eats Uber Eats needs to update their app i feel because it's always something wonky happening with the food through them and y'all try not to complain because here's the thing i used to do postmates so i know that for the people that are doing the deliveries it's it's not easy it's not easy when you're in a hurry you're trying to hurry up and get people their food and you're trying to hurry and you may not have time and then if they seal the bag you don't want to open the bag because you're not supposed to which I get that but at the same time Popeye's got to do better because this is like the second time they done did something that I just really am not happy about and I was going to make fries for them, but they was like, Mom, that's okay. You don't have to make us fries. But still, that's frustrating. When you got your mouth fixed for something, then it ain't right. Because I know my oldest son really wanted the tenders and the sandwich. Now, honey, baby, some of these whole pieces of chicken that they brought us by accident. We see clearly says tenders. <laughs> App clearly says tenders. And here y'all come with this whole chicken. They're not real fun. The chicken with bones in it. They'll eat it, but they don't love it. Which I get it, you know. when you depending on delivery services and stuff <sighs> anyways oh
So yeah, I feel like it's been so long since I've done a video and stuff. I don't know why. It ain't been that long, but I feel like it's been forever. Anybody got anything new going on? Anything exciting? Putting this honey on here made it hot. Cause it's, it made the honey like super hot. And I have foil on my little griddle that I do my mukbangs with because I don't want to have to clean it off. I mean, I could clean it, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't know if I got a thumbnail. I'm just discombobulated cause my order was messed up. I had to blow this honey because it is hot. So, does anybody have any plans for the weekend? I don't know when I'm going to post this video, so I'm going to just say that. I don't know. It's Thursday, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to post it today. Come on, anybody else been having trouble uploading? I mean, I haven't uploaded in about a week, so. Yeah, last video I uploaded was last Saturday. But it, I well, I uploaded it on Friday night, I think it was. But it took a while for it to um. It took a while for it to upload. But I want to talk about something, and this is related to YouTube. And I know not everybody is into YouTube like that. So if you don't want to hear this part of the conversation feel free to click off I understand um but I want to talk about challenges that people tag you in I appreciate people tagging me in challenges I really do it's just that I'm gonna be real transparent with y'all I'm I have a hard time doing the challenges because right now I don't have a car. So when I place an order for stuff, sometimes certain stores don't always have what you order. So therefore, there's been some challenges that people have told me to do that I wasn't able to get the ingredients. Because I'm not walking to the store. It's hot in Vegas. We've had a couple days of nice weather. But I didn't feel like walking to the store. So, and normally I do lift and stuff like that. But I just didn't feel, I don't feel like that's something that I need to be taking an Uber or Lyft for is to get stuff to do challenges. And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate being tagged because I do. And I can do challenges. I can't do them. It's just, if I don't have what I need, I just, I can't do it. Um... And I'm saying this because I heard somebody mention like people not doing challenges when they get tagged in them. Everybody's circumstances are different. We can't all um, do them. Like one challenge in particular, I was tagged months ago. I haven't been able to do it because I haven't been able to get the stuff I needed. It was like I'll place an order and I'll get one of the things that I need. And these stores are saying they're out of stock on certain stuff. So it's like, well, can't do that one. 
And it's frustrating. Just know that it does frustrate me to not be able to do challenges when someone tags me in a challenge. But with that being said, I'm still going to do them. Even if I'm months behind, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> today again it's thursday so you might get this on a saturday who knows <laughs> i don't know if it does upload by saturday happy saturday Things are just so crazy. I find myself not wanting to watch the news. Even the local news because it's depressing. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but the news is depressing to me. It is just plain out depressing. Because you, all they ever show is death. And I know a lot of death is happening right now. And it ain't all from Corona. People are being murdered. And that bothers me. And I don't want to be Debbie Downer. But it that really does bother me. And not just, you know, not just being murdered. But people are being hurt by other people that are just acting a complete fool and that just doesn't sit well with me and it really does make me sad as i'm sure it does everybody else and if y'all hear any noise i forgot to turn the fan off This is as Casey Connections would call it a don't worry about it mukbang. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, let's be positive. On a po more positive note, y'all. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not sick anymore. Um... Some people have said they didn't know that I did mukbangs. Well, I'm going to just give y'all a little history, especially if you're new to the channel. Um, When I first decided to do YouTube, back in November of 2018, I believe is when I uploaded my first mukbang video. Had no idea what I was doing. Recorded the video this way, which is this way vertical vertical um which was wrong <laughs> um i don't know but that was mine that's what i wanted to do and i was inspired by mukbangers like b loves life e with q um <clears throat> prissy p um, trying to think who else did I watch a lot and and no not just mug bangers I was watching and y'all gonna be like really angel but I would watch competitive eaters I was watching a bunch of competitive eaters now don't ask me their names because I don't know all of them I do know Joel Hansen and I know Katrina eats kilos and Raina Wang um there's one other Jeez, his name's round to my tongue. But I was watching them. Oh, 
and I watched Ben Dean and I was watching Quan Tran. Quan Tran is not a competitive eater or anything like that. And neither is Ben Dean. He's a mukbanger, but Quan actually cooks and um he has a cook he does cooking. He has a Vietnamese channel and he has a channel that's um in English. And he cooks and you know shows us recipes. Just he and he's a great cook to me he is. So those were the channels that I started out watching. And then I started thinking, well, I can eat and talk. And I can come up with interesting topics to talk about, hopefully. Um, then for a little while, y'all, I backed off the mukbangs because I was gaining a lot of weight. Because I was eating too much before I did the mukbang. You know I, mean? I wasn't just eating once a day. Well, when I decided to go back to it, I heard the days I record, I'm not going to eat until I record. And so that's why, oh, she's hair in my eye. That's why I decided to come back to it because honestly, I like it. And I like watching my bugs. And so I decided, you know, okay. I'm going to go back to it, but I'm going to figure out how to do it in a way that I don't gain a thousand pounds. I'm going to show my 600 pound life. <laughs> so that's a little bit about me and my channel. Now, I know most people say, oh, you do an eating show because you don't eat a lot. I do find it difficult to eat like a lot, a lot most of the time. Although, I will say, I think in my last few month buns, I've done a little bit better. I've eaten a little more. It's just something about when you turn on this the camera to record yourself. You start to get full. <laughs> it's a mental thing, I guess. I guess your mind tells you that you're full because you know you're recording. And then I have all these weird things stuck in my mind. Like, not weird things, but just I don't want the video to be too long. I don't want to bore people, you know. So, that's kind of how things work out. But I do mostly do mukbangs. Um, I'm going to be hopefully doing some food reviews. Um, getting out the house and doing some vlogging soon. I'm working on some things, y'all. I'm definitely working on some things to freshen up the channel and make it a little more exciting. As a lot of people have said about me, I am very calm, more chill. And I know some people have even said I was boring. And that's okay because I'm not for everybody and I get that. But I do like to have fun, y'all. I do like to have fun. I like to do fun things. I like to hang out with my family and stuff like that. But since the pandemic, we haven't been able to do any of that. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, um, and then I just feel like you can't please everybody when it comes to eating because some people want you to eat a lot and then some people say, oh, you eat too much. That's too much food. Child, bye. <laughs> it's like, okay, I hear you. What do you want me to do? You want me to eat or you don't want me to eat? You come to my channel to see me eat or do you come to my channel to hear me talk? Or do you just come to my channel to leave me nasty comments that go to spam? Because y'all, I don't know what's wrong with people. Well, y'all know what's wrong with people. We don't get into all of that. But some people just really leave the worst comments on people's videos. And the way I have my comments, I have my settings. If you say something rude to me using certain words, it's going to go to spam. Because you don't need to tell me that. 
I know. I, I, I see myself. I don't need you to tell me nothing. But it's just, it's sad that people just can't. And we don't want to see somebody don't watch the videos. But I just think it's so crazy. I know I talk about this a lot, but I just think it's crazy that people go out of their way to criticize how someone looks or how someone eats. If you click on a video and the sound is bad, it's too, the mic is too loud, Ooh, excuse me. The mic is too loud and it's picking up too many sounds and you don't like it. Click off. <laughs> Just click off. Don't even stay. Just go. Especially if you're getting ready to type something rude. Just click off. There's a lot of channels out there that may do things perfectly. And may do everything the way you want them to do it. Let's see what this looking like. Hmm. I'm going to let y'all get the first bite of this little raggedy sandwich that they probably made this morning. It look like they might have put a fresh piece of chicken on it, but it's probably been sitting out all day. <laughs> Let me start. I don't know. I can't help it. But you can tell how long it's been sitting because the sauce then soaked into the bun. Because when this first came out, <clears throat> it, they were making them to order. They weren't just making them and sitting them. Sitting them under the thing, under the warmer. I mean, you know, you have people to say, why y'all always complaining? Why y'all mukbangers always complaining about the food? Well, look at it like this. We give them a lot of free advertising. Because not all of us have commercials and brand deals with restaurants. And so, we don't we get them a lot of free advertising. I feel that way. If I'm eating your food on my channel, it's free advertising for you. At least get my order right. Because even if I wasn't eating it on YouTube, I still want my order right. <laughs> you know? So, it's like when you get something that's, that's not good and it's old or whatever, it don't make you happy. And the same people saying we shouldn't complain. Well, so you, when you get a messed up order, you don't say nothing? Please. Get out of here. I don't know, y'all. I just, these just irritate me. Like I said, get the orders right and people won't complain about it. But if people go pick up their food and the service is bad, they get home, the order is wrong. Because a lot of times, especially if you go through a drive-thru, you don't have time to check it. And if you're ordering and having it delivered, they ain't checking it. Just like I said, because they know they can't break the seal on the back. They trust in whatever restaurant they pick up from to have it right. And as the consumers, we're trusting them to have it right. But anyways, I don't know what's happening with that. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I ain't really had too much to holla at y'all about. I just know that I need to get it together and, you know, be consistent. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified of all videos that I post. Also, share. 
feel free to share my video you know share it on the community tab if you're a youtuber share it on facebook if you're not a youtuber just share it twitter whatever but if you made it this far in the video go ahead and drop me a chicken drumstick emoji even though i didn't have one but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here again thank y'all so much for watching my videos thank you so much for supporting me and i will talk to y'all later